Hi all, in this quick video, I will show you how to install FFmpeg inside your N810 Docker setup so you can start using it in your automation workflows, whether that is for video, audio or media processing. FFmpeg is a powerful open source command line tool used to process, convert and stream audio and video files. It can handle a wide range of tasks like video encoding, cutting, merging, adding subtitles extracting audio and generating videos from images all with a single command. A docker container is a lightweight isolated environment that runs applications with all their dependencies bundled together like a mini virtual machine. Here are my docker containers. Here is my N8N container and this is the docker desktop application. It ensures consistency across different systems so software behaves the same everywhere. Here you can see the N8 10 docker image. By default, the N8 10 docker image does not include FFmpeg, meaning FFmpeg is not installed inside the container. Since each container is isolated, you can't access software installed on your host machine from inside the N8 10 container. What it means is even if you download the FFmpeg here and install on your laptop, the N8 10 running in the docker environment will not be able to access it. That's why you need to customize the N8 10 image by adding FFmpeg in the docker file so it becomes part of the environment and can be accessed within N8 10 via the execute command node. I strongly recommend you to backup your workflows unless you are sure recreating the N8 10 container does not impact your workflows in any way. The method I am showing you here is for locally hosted N8 10 on your own laptop using docker. The setup is nearly identical on a VPS like Hostinger or Digital Ocean. You use the same docker file to build a custom N8 10 image with FFmpeg included and run it with docker compose just like you would locally. The only thing you need to find out is the location of the docker compose file. The remaining steps will be almost same. First create a file named docker file in the same folder as your docker compose.yml file. Make sure there is no extension to this docker file. It should be just docker file as you are seeing it here. One way to find out the location of your docker compose yml file on your computer is to go to your command prompt as you are seeing here and enter the command docker space compose space ls and hit enter. Under the config files it will show you the exact location of your docker compose yml file. And to create the docker file you can simply use notepad or any other editor of your choice. Here I am using notepad and then the docker file and hit enter. If it does not exist, it will prompt you to create the file. You need to add these entries in the docker file as shown here from na10io slash na10 colon latest and then user root that means we are logging in as root user and then we are running this command apk add ffmpeg. Once we run the command, Again, we are switching back to node user. Through these commands, we are telling Docker to start from the official N8 10 image and install FFmpeg using Alpine's package manager, which is APK. Next step is to update your Docker compose YML file. Now you already know the location of the Docker compose YML file. You can open it up in any editor of your preference. I'm using notepad here. This docker compose file is based on my configuration setup. Your docker compose file may look different from mine. Under N8 10 section, you will see image colon and then the N8 10 image. You need to replace this image line with build colon space period. Remove the image line completely and then enter build colon space and period. Then save your file. Here we are telling docker compose to build your custom image using docker file you just created. I have provided the template files 
in the resource section you can copy them and modify as per your requirement now let us remove the existing containers so that we have a clean start type in docker space compose space down and hit enter here we can see it has removed our containers now let us pull the latest na10 base image and then rebuild it enter docker pull na10 io slash na10 colon latest with this command we are pulling the latest stable version of na10 it tells us it has downloaded the newer image of na10 now let us build the na10 image with this command docker compose build this fetches the newest version of na10 and ensures ff mpeg gets installed during the build process you can see now that the image is being built with ff mpeg everything went fine and the new image got built we can see the na10 container is still not running we only built the na10 container now we need to start the na10 container enter the command docker space compose space up dash d to bring up your containers it is trying to bring up the containers here i have few extra containers besides na10 everything went fine let us look at the docker desktop here we can see the na10 container has started that's it ffmpeg is now installed inside your na10 container let us verify that by building a small workflow log into your na10 and while you are on the canvas click on the plus sign here to open the node panel and type in execute in the search bar and select execute command node here in the command field you can give a command and then run it with the execute command node i entered ffmpeg dash version if ffmpeg is installed successfully then it should output the version information let us test this by clicking on this execute step button you can see exit code is 0 and here it is giving the information of the ffmpeg it says version 6.1.2 if you see this output and there are no errors then we can confirm the ffmpeg installation was successful drop a comment if you need help with using ffmpeg in your workflows if you need help building automated lead generations setting up cold email machines for your marketing campaigns please reach out to me if you found this video useful please like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel let me know in the comment section if there is any specific topic you want to be covered bye until next video